Problem 10. Now, as soon as we see that there's three pieces, and this problem says to factor this, and not three pieces, there's four. Sorry about that. I already messed up. There's four pieces here. As soon as you see that, you want to do, um, you want to factor it by grouping. So you want to group things together. So I want to group these two together and group these two together. So I group those together. <clears throat> Excuse me, group those together. Now, I look and I say to myself, okay, what can be factored out of what's inside these parentheses? 10 and 6 both have a common factor of 2, so I pull a 2 out. x cubed, x squared, so x squared can come out. I'll be left behind, well, let's see, 2 times what gives you 10? 2 times a 5. x squared times an x will give you the x cubed. Minus 2 times what gives you the 6? A 3. And you've already pulled all the x squareds out, so that's what we have right there. Now we look at this piece and we say, hey, what can be factored out there? So it's plus, let's see, 15 and 9 both have a factor of 3. He has an x, he doesn't have any, so I can't pull any x's out. So it's just a 3 that comes out. What's left behind is 5x, because 3 times 5x is 15x. And then 3 times a 3 would give you the 9 there. Notice now this has a 5x minus 3, this has a 5x minus 3. And it's just two terms here. You have this plus this. So we can factor out this 5x plus 3. This guy right here and this guy right here can be brought out. So they're brought out and then they're left behind with a 2x squared plus a 3. And this now has factored this four term statement into two binomials. And we can check it. 5x times 2x squared, 10x cubed. 5x times the 3 is 15, and this is minus 6. That'll give us basically what we have there. And then we have a minus 3 times a plus 3, which will give us the minus 9. So we can see that's what it does end up giving us. But this will factor down to the product of two binomials. There you go.